Hello everyone, today we are going to learn about the forces that cause movements of objects. Force is simply a push and a pull. You can see objects being pushed or pulled. If this ball moving, the ball will only move when it's pushed. A small push will move at a short distance. A large push will move it farther. When you push, you move the thing away from yourself. Now, look at this chair. It will only move when pull. When you pull, you bring the thing closer to yourself. When you push, you bring the thing towards you. Have you ever wondered what keeps us floating off into space? Why am I going down at after every jump. This force is called gravity. Gravity is the force that pulls objects towards the center of the earth. Isaac Newton, a well-known scientist, discovered gravity about 300 years ago when he saw an apple from a tree Towards the ground, he realized there was a force that made it fall on the ground. And he called it gravity. The feather flew away because of the force coming from my mouth when I blow it. The air from my mouth by blowing causes the feather to fly away. The bubbles from my hands wash away by the running water. This is the force of moving water. Running water exerts a force that can move things. Magnets are magnificent objects that create an area of magnetic force around them, which is invisible to human eyes. Magnetic objects are objects that get attracted to a magnet and the objects that don't get attracted to magnet is called non-magnetic objects. For example, these objects won't even move if kept near a magnet. But objects that contain iron and steel will definitely get attracted to the magnet. Magnetism is the force that pulls objects. That's all for today.